Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Naruto Storm 4. Last time we finished Kaguya, but now it's that time of every Naruto game. Naruto vs Sasuke. Now I'm returning to the other side too. But before I leave, I want to ask you something. Naruto and Sasuke. After fighting my mother, Kaguya, did your answers change? Mine hasn't. For a very long time, my wish has always been to protect my friends. I see. Ah, that reminds me. What happened to all the people who got hypnotized by the infinite Tsukuyomi? I want to hurry up and save them all! Undoing the Jutsu is a simple thing. With your tailed beast chakra, Naruto, and your Rinnegan, Sasuke, you simply need to make the Ko seal. Oh, that's surprisingly easy! Sasuke! Yeah. What about you? The answer you gave back then. I don't mind if you free them. But only after... I execute the five Kage while they're still hypnotized. What? Sasuke, are you still planning on getting revenge? Sasuke, what do you want? What do you desire from the end of this battle? I want to know the honest truth. The previous Kage are the ones who created this situation. I'm going to become the Hokage and change the village. And the Hokage you become? What exactly will that be? Hmm. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. It's true that up until now, destruction and revenge were my only goals. But that's changed. I'm going to destroy, and then rebuild. I'm going to create a village, a world without darkness. In other words, what I wish for Revolution. Planetary devastation! Now, no one is left to stand in my way. Besides you, Naruto. I suppose it really was too good to be true. Indra and Asura will always follow the same paths. No. The brothers' battle is going to end here. You know where we need to go, right? There's nothing I can do. Despite how much I care about him, how much I love him, 
I can't follow him. I can't die with him. Even now, all I can do is stamp my feet and cry. I'm so... pathetic. But... But... Sasuke! If... If you have even the tiniest spot in your heart for me... Then please! Don't go off somewhere again! You really are annoying. You didn't have to use Genjutsu on her as well! Sakura... just wanted to save you. You tried to kill her once. And she still just keeps shedding tears for you. Because loving you is torturing her. That may just be a chain from our failed past. Sasuke. I promised Sakura a long time ago that I'd bring you back to the village. Sensei, you know what my ninja way is, right? Here I go! Yeah, I'm counting on you. Have any parents or siblings? How could you understand? You've been alone from the very beginning. What could you possibly understand about me? Huh? I've already severed my bond with you. I told you already. You have no siblings or parents. You couldn't possibly understand. This is none of your business! I knew you'd be here. This sure brings back memories, Sasuke. Just like before, you're going to lose here. I won't let you land any of the punches you did last time. And I won't hand the title of Hokage to you either. You don't understand what it means to be the Hokage. I told you what I desire is revolution. The Hokage I speak of is nothing like yours. Itachi Uchiha. My brother was born in the shadows, and protected the village from the shadows. You understand how he lived, right? That's the Hokage I want to become. Moving in the darkness. Caring about the village, accepting all the hatred and working for peace. To that end, it doesn't matter how much I have to dirty my hands. I'll accept all the hatred that's born from that. I don't have a father, a mother, or a brother. I'm all alone. I can carry the hatred all by myself. Yes, the Hokage I want to be will burn down the darkness of all five Kage with his own flames then feast on the ashes to survive.
You're completely misunderstanding how Itachi lived! There are some things you can't do alone. Like in the battle with Kaguya! Things won't always go well. Like these two statues. And us. Like us brothers. In the end, what this world needs is revolution. I'll take care of all the darkness from the past and restart things with a pure, unwritten future. Are you saying... you're going to cut off all your memories of Team Seven? Yes. I'm going to cut off my past. <sighs> I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! <laughs> then... You must know what you need to do. Finally, fight. Can it one wall based ninjutsu attack? That's right. As of now, all of that is dangerous to me. What about Sakura? She never stops. Memories and love are only chains. Idealistic things that have no place in my revolution. No place? Enough of that crap, Sasuke! Check conditions. Just cut that down along with you. Damn it. How much you try to I promise Sakura that I bring you back. I'm going to keep my promise this time. Take with me, Kurama. Now beat planetary Rasen should again. Oh, okay. I 
need to do is erase you, and then no one will be able to stand in the way of my revolution! First fight done. <gasps> Bat results. Hey. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> now, now I'm all alone. What's wrong? Don't tell me you've given up already. Is it really that easy for you two to sever your connection? It isn't, is it? Just like Obito and me, your connection with Sasuke can't be severed that easily. Remember, you didn't just reconnect Kakashi and me. My heart was so hardened, yet you. And it wasn't just me. You opened up a lot of other people's hearts as well. Enemies. People surrounded by hatred. People who rejected the other villages. People who were hurting inside. Even the tailed beasts. You were even capable of solving the problems of the world itself. Now, there's only one person left. It should be easy for you to save a stubborn friend. Right? Yeah, you'll be fine. 
remember that you bear the encouragement of all those people on your shoulders. The connections you've made with your teachers and your peers. The hopes of your friends. If you don't have enough power, then just borrow it from their hands. Because, Naruto, that's all the power that you created. Your heart isn't dead yet. If he's submerging himself in darkness, then just use your hands to pull him back up. And if he tries to shake you off, then scream to wake him up. There's no such thing as a feeling that cannot be conveyed. Everyone believes in you, Naruto. You make the impossible possible. Naruto, that's why. You need to get back up already! Don't be afraid to look stupid as you struggle. That is the Naruto we all know! You can do it, Naruto! Connections don't disappear. You need to harden your fist and stand up again! Keep that fire in your eyes! Let out a roar! Come on! Sasuke's waiting for you! Go to him, Naruto. This is all for your sake. For the sake of the future! For the sake of your friend! Forward! you leave just yet Sasuke why over and over over and over and over why do you keep doing this what's wrong with you just what are you Your friend! I told you I can't leave you alone, remember? <laughs> You're still saying that? After all this? I told you already. I have no intention of going back! And I told you that I have no intention of giving up! It doesn't matter what you say to me. I'll never change my mind. I'm just gonna keep reaching out my hand to you. Until the very end. Until I reach you! My will won't change, either. I'm going to cut you down. In order to end the path I've walked so far. I won't give up on you! In order to keep my path connected! Neither of us has much power left. Yes. This is... the true end. Going right back into a fight. Now, one throw, one counter attack, one 25 hit combo, and three ninjas. The more it torches me! Naruto! 
the most irritating one of all! You were like a brother to me! So, my body and my heart just act on their own! Just kept thinking, hoping that you wouldn't have to be all alone! you say now, I'm not changing. I'm still going to destroy each and every person in the league, including you. Either defeat me and become the hero who saves the village, or fall to me and just be known as a pitiful loser. Those are your only choices. I'm not going to be a loser, or the hero who defeated you. I won't be either. <laughs> Just like I did before. You're going to lose. You know that I'm different from how I was back then, don't you? I won't lose anymore! No. You haven't changed. That's what's irritating me so much. What? Always been the same. That magic has never changed. Damn it! Hey, what are you doing? 
I'm sick of watching you act all cool every day. You really piss me off. Huh? You're the one to talk. You're the one who's always doing stupid stuff. Just looking at you pisses me off. You can't do that, can you? I'm awesome. How petty can you be? You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh. I'm not ashamed at all. You're the one who's always sulking all the time. Just looking at you pisses me off. Huh? You should play more with the rest of us. If you just played with us a little more... Whoa, wait, what am I saying? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Did you just confuse yourself? You really made no sense. That's the end of the battle. Sorry for being quiet for pretty much all of that. There's a lot of dialogue, dialogue and I don't like talking over that because it's such a good moment. Now do you finally get it? <clears throat> See? 
If you move, the wound will open. Why are you so obsessed with standing in my way? I acquired this strength so I could cut everything off and enter the darkness. Naturally, everyone tried to break their bonds with me at least once. But you... You never did. Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! Because we're friends. Just what is a friend... ...to you? You can't explain something like that with words. But whenever I see you trying to carry everything on your shoulders like that... ...it... ...hurts. It hurts so bad that I just can't ignore you. Naruto. I know that you've always been alone. Just like me. You felt alienated in the village. But unlike me, you did stupid things to try and get people's attention. Back then, I thought you were an idiot. A weakling. But, deep down inside, I was interested in you too. Then we both grew and ended up on the same team. I did missions together with you, while you kept going on and on about how you wanted to become the Hokage. And as I felt us growing stronger together, I decided that I wanted to fight you someday. Then, I started to see Team Seven as my own family. That's why, whenever I saw you in pain, yes, I also... hurt. When I understood your pain, that's when I first thought of you as a friend. But in return, as I saw you grow exponentially strong, I just couldn't ignore you. You had a strength that I lacked. You were always walking in front of me, just like my brother did. And the same is true today. You. Ah! Guess it's too soon for you to move. Just when I thought I could punch you to wake you up. <laughs> huh? Still want to keep fighting? Of course, I'll fight you as many times as... I accept it. Huh? I lost. You... You idiot! This isn't about winning or losing! My friend was sulking, so I just thought I'd punch him to wake him up, that's all! Hey, Naruto. I accept you. If I die here, the chain of war that's been continuing since the time of the Sage of the Six Paths will come to an end. This 
is another type of revolution. I'll decide this issue myself, once and for all. How can you decide anything by dying? You might as well live on and help me instead, if you're just gonna do that! What I want to do is cooperate with all the shinobi! Including you, of course. Who says everyone else will agree to that? Oh, come on! Go on! Spout some more crap like that! I'll punch you again! There's no telling when I may stand up to defy you again in the future. You won't do this kind of thing anymore! How... can you be sure of that? Don't make me repeat myself! Just what are you? We're friends! Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends! Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! Come on! You're the one who still doesn't get it! Now that I think about it, I guess you always have been surprisingly dense. Before anyone asks, they had to do that for Japan. Too. Shut up, you loser. It looks dumb, but Japan's set up board. I knew they'd be here. Kakashi Sensei. Yeah, go to them. Yeah, because the set board changes, they have to do that. Say whatever you want, you brain dead loser. Enough, Naruto. Shut up already. So, he's finally returned. And that is the credits roll. So, because we're technically at the end of the LP, because it's still Boruto, but I don't remember if Boruto does have credits, might as well put my thoughts here. In terms of how they handled translating the manga and the anime to the games. The third game is definitely the strongest. The second game behind it, with the fourth game being problematic, because it's... Even though I didn't get defeated, you guys saw how hard it was. It isn't exactly a fun game to return to, and 100%ing it, which I have done, isn't exactly the most fun to do. Up to a cheer by Vic Mignana. But yeah, otherwise I did have fun. If connections were to change anything in it about four, but I doubt it will. 
But if it were, I would just make every cutscene like it was before in 3 and 2. Because it made things so much more dramatic instead of the. Well, I think. What well, felt like manga stones. But also, making the game a bit more balanced and difficult to curve. The one thing I wish they did, I did talk about, about it, was, as you saw, you've got to play Obito's Start of Darkness and face uh, Minato as the masked man slash Obito. I wish they did the same with Madara vs. the Five Kage. Like, I always still like the fight from free, but I think showing how the fight was in Madara's eyes would have been so much interesting. So much more interesting. And also, then just giving us a second phase showing how much weaker the enemy was compared to Madara. Madara. Because I still believe, yeah, Madara wouldn't have taken them seriously, and then when they quote unquote beat them, would have been pulverized by Madara. Because, being real, Madara would have been like, Alright. Alright. Now you're wasting my time. You're more impressive than the five Kage of my era. <laughs> well, except for Hashirama. And then pulverized them and went to aid Obito. That may just be me. So many testers. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Seriously. It looks dumb, blackened out. We used to be all alone, starving for love. Children who were festering with hatred. We went our separate ways and fought. But not at all. You never cut me off. You just kept moving closer to my heart. Even though it would have made sense for you to attack me with hatred. You told me I was your friend. And no matter how much I hurt you, you accepted me as one. I was only saved thanks to you. We used to do nothing but quarrel. And now, 
We can feel the pain of each other's hearts. And this isn't just between us. It may be something that can be said in a much larger scope. To be honest, you should have been thrown in jail for what you did. The reason you were pardoned is because you made a great contribution to stopping the infinite Tsukuyomi. But don't forget that me becoming the sixth Hokage and Naruto's appeals were a big part of that as well. Don't do anything too crazy anymore, or else I'll have to take responsibility for it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Do you really have to go? Now, I want to know how the Shinobi world, how this world looks to me. Um... What if I asked you if I could come along? This is also a journey of repentance. You have nothing to do with my sins. Nothing to do with them, huh? See you later. Thanks. Hmm? You still have that? I'm giving it back. How about I keep it until our next battle? But I could never do things like you could. It was never that easy for me. That emotion felt like a prayer. I'll just have to bear this until I can really do it. And the ones who have been tasked with that are us. Naruto. Ninja. <sighs> there is a chain that began from creation and continued through the Atsutsuki, never ceasing. People became shinobi, and created clans and villages, even during peaceful interludes. The flames of war never died out, but grew ever stronger, along with hatred. And so, those two continued to face each other, fighting on. However, a single ninja was able to sever that chain and cultivate a new future. He created best friends, followed them, challenged them, and connected them. His will gradually came to encompass all Shino the world, and all its hatred, until it came to reveal a new path. Here, the handbook that encompasses everything about the way of the Shinobi reaches its conclusion. Now, it's time to give that handbook a title. And so it will be named... The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. Ah, 
didn't get 50%. Oh, that's Where leaves fall, flames burn. The shadows of the flames illuminate the village. And again, new leaves bloom. The new age prepare for Boruto Uzumaki. <laughs> Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm story, and story 100%. Yeah. But next time, let's head tackle. Nope, nope. There we go. Boruto's tale. In this mode, you can relive the events of Boruto, the Naruto. Now, Boruto, Naruto, the movie. I'll see you guys then. Honestly, I'm a little nervous about it. But hey, I'll see you guys then. Zeno Zuma, signing out.